Say hello. We're doing a dual commentary. This is R. Lehigh and K.O.G. Mufasa. Say hello, Mufasa. Hello. And uh, what what were you playing here? Looks uh, mercenary team deathmatch. What was your class setup? I had um, AK-47 with a silencer, concussion grenade, Semtex, Claymore, and I had. Scavenger, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Ninja. Very nice class. Uh, it is. <laughs> oh. What were your kill streaks this game, real quick? I had a uh, UAV, Napalm, and Attack Heli. Cool, cool. Uh, when we're pl when you're playing uh, team deathmatch and not basically just not objective gameplay, non objective based yeah. gameplay. Do you like to camp? Do you like to run around? What's your what's your kind of play style? Um, it, it actually kind of fluctuates. Mainly, I like to run around, like in this map or in this game. I guess I do a lot of running. There is a couple times where I just kind of sit, but it's um not too often. There's one point where I'm talking to somebody, another point where my controller dies, which everybody will see later. Which I've been uh, um, told to fast forward through because you just kind of lay there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? That guy needed to be revived over there, but I was just too lazy to run over. And I didn't want to I die. I was just getting I ready to say, what's your, uh, what's your opinion of uh, people in Second Chance? Do you think it takes skill? Do you think second it's chance, easy? What? I think Second Chance, personally, if I ever use it, which I really don't, um, I haven't used that since, I think, Call of Duty 4 when it first came out. But I found it actually kind of hard to kill people sometimes because they would just keep shooting at you until they saw the points show up. Right, right. So, but I mean, personally, I don't like it. I think that people just think that they're cool because they use it. I don't know. I think it's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with you on that. Uh, that's just like I hate Ghost with a passion. I think all it does is promote camping and... Hey, let's let's go sit in a corner, and uh, you'll see the dude sitting in the corner later on in this video. Yeah, I think I killed him two or three times there sitting. <laughs> but um, you know, I go on quite the uh, as you guys will notice, and uh, guy here, I'm kind of chasing him down. Obviously, I thought he was gonna kill me, but sit down, son was my basic uh, description for that kill when I killed him. Isn't it funny how uh, everybody that does YouTube and does videos that has watched Only Use Me Blade, every time they get a knife kill, it's like, sit down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, you know, you see videos a lot where people will not post a video for weeks just because they don't get a flawless game. Personally, I don't care about a flawless game. It's nice to get them, yeah. Like, see that guy right there? Like we talked about yeah, earlier. It makes a lot of sense when you have a ghost on something that's made for sitting outside in a bush to sit in a building where there's no shrubbery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no protection right. at all. But anyway, back to the but, uh, videos. Yeah, um, like people try to make flawless videos, which is cool, um, but you don't always get them. And if you have something that's, you know a good kill in a game or something, or you have a decent game like this one, um, post it. Like, you know, you don't have to be flawless. People aren't going to exit the video just because you're not flawless. I mean, I don't do that. If you have a good personality and you have a good game, then y'all watch it. But, but you're a total but ass. The, I'm not uh, really going the to. The stereotypical YouTuber is like, Oh my god, you didn't just go 102. You suck. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's just every you, people think that you need a perfect game to be able to uh, post something on here, which you really don't. Like D Nanners, for example, he gets a lot of flawless games, but um, some of you might notice his new video. He does not go flawless in all of them, and he says a few times he doesn't care, which I respect that. He's a good guy. Enough about C Nanners, but um. <laughs> yeah, I people that act like total assholes kind of piss me off on here. I just want to 
make them not be allowed to have a YouTube account. <laughs> That's just like, oh my god, you do not have a 3 or a 4 KDR? You must be horrible at this game. Well, it depends yeah. on what you do. <laughs> if you're a straight objective player and you care nothing about your, uh, your kill death, you want the wins for your team or you have a strong team backing you as you're running the flag, like in Capture the Flag, then, yeah, you're going to run blindly into them sometimes and not have the best KDR, but you get the team to yeah. win. Spy plane ready for deployment. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't care about the win, personally. I like I like to have a good KD just because I like to sh kill people, right? Everybody gets angry when they die. It's just something that happens. Like, right here, I was kind of angry. Like, what the hell just you happened? You got drop shot by a ghost. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but, like... I mean, you die, you get kills. Getting kills is obviously funner. Everybody's happy when they get an amazing kill. But, and right here, my batteries die. I kind of turn my controller back on. <laughs> Just in time to kill but, this, um, this dude. The little ghost again. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll notice the next guy I kill is also using ghost right here. Look at that. What a coincidence. Ghost seems to be the preferred <laughs> first perk of... Team Deathmatch when I much rather yeah. use Scavenger just, or Hardline. Yeah, same. I'm just fast forward through this uh, here. Wait, this wait, my wait. Died. Doesn't doesn't little Mufasa look so cute laying down just sitting there? <laughs> He's just such a cute little Mufasa. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> then you just scared away half your possible viewers of this video. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to notice a lot of people uh, that play objective-based games short to capture the flag. A lot of people use Flak Jacket. And flak Jacket, I think, yeah, needs to be... Yeah, mainly search and destroy. Flak Jacket needs to be toned down just a little bit because... Flak Jacket, you can basically stand on a claymore and watch it go boom and you not die. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. It's... I have to say that's probably, like, my own... My... My main complaint about Black Ops. It's just yeah, I find so overpowered. In um, things like Capture the Flag, um, Scavenger is something that you have to have if you're um, kind of sitting back and defending the flag. Because, I mean, I just recently started doing that, and I use the AK Silence a lot when I get it. It's pretty much the only thing I use until level 50 when I can prestige again. And I just kind of sit back and shoot them or use the M16. And if you don't have Scavenger, you're going to run out of ammo really fast, so... Right, right. Use Scavenger and you'll keep having ammo, keep getting those kills, get lots of kills. Right. And everything will work out good. Right. So, so you don't do terrible. My, my personal opinion is with the uh, AK-47, I think it works better with Hardened. We're close to victory, don't quit now. Do you think it works better with Hardened or Sleight of Hand or Warlord or what's your thought on that? I like, I always use Flight of Hand. I don't think I really ever use uh, Warlord or Hardened or anything like that. Um, I never use Hardened, I can say that, except for when I first prestige and it's already on the class. Uh, claim or fail. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, promoted. Don't, don't you hate when you put a Claymore down and the person just walks right past it and instantly blows it up and you're yeah. like, No, I only get one Claymore, give it back, damn it. <laughs> oh no, grenade! Yay! So, Game so that's kill. the end of the video. Awesome. Your final score was twenty-eight and five, with a KD of five point sixty and one assist. I was very pleased. Very nice. That game um, though. So yeah, I'll put a link to both of our uh, channels in the description, and okay. great dual commentary there, Mufasa. Thank you. More to come, hopefully. Yep.